Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tony Approved. On August the 29th, I attended the Carters On The Run Tour in Orlando, Florida, and I wanna give you guys my rundown of my favorite moments from the show, starting with the beautiful sisters, Chloe and Holly, who were the Carters opening act. This was actually my second time seeing Chloe and Holly. I saw them at Coachella this year and they delivered the level of excellence that I expected them to deliver. They gave us great live vocals and performed two of my favorite songs, Everywhere and Happy Without Me. I noticed that the crowd wasn't completely dead while they were performing like they are during some performers opening acts. Um, but some people actually knew their music. They were bumping their shoulders and singing along to the lyrics just like me. So I was like, hey, look at Chloe and Holly getting their fan base up. I definitely can't wait to actually see them headlining their own show and performing more of their own music because they have such a bright future in the music industry, if you ask me in my opinion. DJ Cowley was up next, and unfortunately, he didn't bring out anyone else. Uh, wait, I take that back. He did bring out this one guy. I don't remember what his name is. Um, I do know he looked like Big Boy, and I thought he was Big Boy, so I told my best friend. I was like, hey, try it up. Take a Big Boy. But um, it wasn't him. Um, it was a little bit of a letdown for me because I've seen DJ Khaled when he opened up for Beyonce in Houston and in Atlanta and I've seen who all he can bring out. In Houston, we got Slim Thug, Bumby, and Paul Wall. And then in Atlanta, we got a whole bunch of people. We got Usher, we got 2 Chains, we got Ludacris, we got the Migos, we got the Dream, we got Jermaine Dupri, all kind of people. So. I'm not sure why he didn't bring out anybody in Orlando, but he did actually pass out a scholarship from the Carters to a young man in the audience that was a part of the Boys and Girls Club. It was a scholarship for school and it was for $100,000. So that was definitely a great moment and I was really happy about that. I love to see the Carters give back and show us once again why they're black excellence because they're using their power and influence to help push the culture and move us forward one individual at a time. Now on to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Now I did attend the On The Run One show, um, so and that was my first time actually seeing Beyonce live. I did notice that they did keep some of the same song transitions from the first show, but it was definitely cool. This was my fifth time seeing Beyonce live and my third time seeing Jay-Z. I love the fact that everyone was on time for their set and it just shows the level of professionalism of the Carters. They made sure that Chloe and Holly, DJ Khaled and them were all on time and they respected their audience time and the fact that their set list was very long. So I really appreciate that. Um, my first exciting moment was seeing Beyonce in her ball main opening dress. I actually told my friend Deidre, I was like, hey, when we were in the hotel getting ready, I'm like, oh, I really hope Beyonce opens up or comes out in her ball main dress because as you guys, as you guys know, she's known to change her outfits throughout the show as far as her opening, perform her opening outfits as well as some of her outfits throughout. So I was definitely thankful that Orlando got the ball main dress and the fact that she gave us a real girly hairstyle. She had her hair all up in a ponytail. So it was really, really nice. I always get the straight down hair whenever I see her perform. So I was really, really happy that we got a look, that I actually got to see her look different for her performance. When the Carters performed Nice, Black Effect, and Magente, these were moments in the show where I felt not only inspired and uplifted, but very proud to be black. Beyonce kept saying that this is for, while she was performing these songs, she kept saying this is for my people. And I felt so connected to not only her, but everyone in the audience. When I looked around, everybody was on the same page. Everybody was connected, paying attention, focused, and you could feel the love in the air. It was just love everywhere. And everybody was singing the lyrics and everybody was on one page. And it was just a really great 
beautiful moment. I'm telling you, Beyonce and Jay-Z concerts are a mood. And if you haven't been to one, you're definitely missing out. I love the fact that they mix I Care with 444. Um, everyone knows that I Care is one of my top five favorite Beyonce songs. So to see Beyonce go and Jay-Z go back and forth with the lyrics of those two records, this was a nice moment when we got to see them being very vulnerable on the stage. So I really enjoyed that as well. The visuals on the screen were amazing. We actually got to see exactly what they were doing when they had all their pictures leaked while they were out in Jamaica. Um, Jill Scott was actually recently raving about how great their visuals are on this tour and she never lied. I love seeing Beyonce in the different scenes and it makes me really happy that I got a tour book that I'm definitely going to get Beyonce to sign a page of for me. My favorite performance of the night was when Beyonce performed Resentment and it actually reminded me of, I didn't see the show live, but when she performed on the Mrs. Carter show when she mixed in one plus one and Speechless, Beyonce sung the hell out of Resentment. She gave us run, she went all up and down the scale, she was giving us highs and lows and I was just in such awe and just couldn't believe that I was sitting here listening to Beyonce live and having a moment like I would in my room. I literally had to almost sit down because she was singing the hell out of that song. I really enjoyed her performance. You can definitely see that she was connecting to it and not only her, but she was connecting to her audience because they were singing right along with her. Resentment is definitely not my favorite song off of the B-Day album, but after the performance that I saw last night, definitely might be kicking Freakum Dress to the side. Finally, when we got to see the Carters perform Ape Shit, that was a very nice part of the show because it's cool that as our as fans of Beyonce and Jay-Z, we actually get to see them perform all of their new stuff, Nice, Black Effect, Summer, Ape Shit. We actually get to see them perform it on tour before they do it on any award show. I feel like it gives it a little bit more authenticity, if that makes sense. Um, so it was just really, really cool to just see everybody all on one page and them singing the lyrics. It was nice to actually hear the full song out and to see the choreography with the dancers. It was just a really, really great show. I have absolutely no regrets. It was such a great musical night, so magical. I can't wait to sit to. I can't wait until the next time I get to see the Carters live because when I do, I'm going to be invited by Beyonce and she's going to give me a shout out to Tony Approved. So if you guys haven't seen the show already, please make sure you catch them. It is a stadium tour, so I do not believe all of the tickets are sold out yet. Um, they're going on tour all the way up until October. So if you haven't seen it, please make sure you grab a seat. And if you have seen the show already, leave your favorite moments down in the comment section or things that you didn't like and we can compare and contrast our shows and we could just have a nice little talk about Jay-Z and Beyonce because everyone knows I could talk about them all day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Tony Approved and taking the time to listen to my review. Tell me guys what you think down in the comment section and until next time, God bless.